Hello all, my name is Adar Stale and welcome to this channel. Here we will learn basic workflows to use different tools in Bentley Raceway and Cable Management Connect Edition. In today's video, we will learn how to perform automatic cable routing using the Cable Manager. In Bentley Raceway and Cable Management, Cable Routing settings control the automatic selection of nearby raceway routes. Auto routing entry points, which can be viewed in the model as a bounding sphere, are used to determine the possible cable routes. When a raceway route intersects any part of an auto routing entry point's bounding sphere, those routes are a valid cable routing path to the equipment. Therefore, a raceway route does not necessarily need to connect directly to the equipment for the path to be considered as a valid cable routing path. Prior to performing cable routing, please make sure that all the cable lists and equipments have been imported and all the source and target IDs are assigned to the equipment. Here, you must open a file that has been registered as a routing file in order to perform cable routing. Now, navigate to the Equipment and Cable Ribbon tab and select Cable Manager from the Cables Ribbon group. As you can see, Cable Manager is empty and hence we need to select the data we want to work with using Collaboration Manager. Click on Manage and select Collaboration Manager. Here, you can request log for the desired design data. Requesting a log allows the application to load selected design data from the project database. Let's select all and request log. Now the cables are loaded in the cable manager and the next step will be to connect the cables to their source and destination equipment. To make the connection, we will use the auto connect function which will create the connection and populate the length field with the shortest orthogonal length between the source and destination equipment. In the cable manager, right click, select all the cables and then select auto connect. As all the connections are made and the length is updated in the cable manager, so let's visualize what exactly auto connect did here so we will select a cable right click and select visualize we can see a cable route between source equipment to the target equipment so now we will move ahead and route the cables so select all the cables, right click and select Routing Manager. In the Routing Manager, you can see every details related to the cables such as name, cable type, voltage level, to and from locations, etc. Now right click and select all then again right click and select automatic routing this will initialize the routing attempts and when the routing attempt completes the number of hits which means the number of cables that got routed and the failed cables is displayed In the routing manager, you can also see the reason behind the auto routing failure. Here, for example, raceway capacity exceeded with no alternative route found. Also, you can see the raceway ID with this issue. Now click OK. As you can see, all the routes are automatically routed. Now select all and select create 3D cables. Press OK 
in the PRCM info dialog. Now click OK and select Yes in the Save Changes dialog. Create 3D Cable Tool have generated 3D representation for all the successfully routed cables. In the latest update 4, it is also possible to see the optimal routes in addition to the actual routes for the successful cable routes. Click Yes to see the optimal route. As you can see, the actual route is in magenta and the optimal route is shown in red. This information is useful in determining whether you wish to make any changes to ensure that the most important cables are optimally routed. Now that you have successfully routed your cables, you can generate various routing reports and cable pull cards as needed. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please type them in the comment section below or contact the Bentley Technical Support. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can be alerted to our new videos.